What's up everybody? Welcome back to Operation Overhaul. This is Corey and today we have a Nissan Frontier. We're trying to diagnose a differential growl. So if you would, stick with us and chum on. <laughs> So like I said, we have a Nissan Frontier. It's got a differential growl on it. We're going to see what it is. I've test drove it and no matter the speed, if you're in the throttle or out of the throttle, whatever, it stays there. It's just, I mean, just backing out of, of a driveway, you can hear it. So we're going to see, I've already checked, see if wheel bearings were leaking or if there was any play in the wheel bearings. I didn't feel any, but we're going to pull this cover off, but to drain the fluid, there is a drain plug on the bottom of this differential. It is right at the very bottom, and it is an Allen head. I think it is like a 10 millimeter, I believe. Yep, 10 millimeter. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this loose. And we're going to drain the fluid out. Let's see if we can do this without getting any of it on us. Oh my god. Yeah. As you can see, there's plenty of metal on that magnet. I'm gonna grab an Allen socket and open this right here up so we can let some air in there, let it drain a little bit quicker. Because either way, I'm gonna to take that out to put fluid back in it if we fix it. By the time I got back, it had already been drained. This is a 14 millimeter. The only 14 millimeter I have is in a one inch socket, so, or three quarter. I mean, and that is tight. She was tight. All right. Like I said, there's the plug right there. It is a 14 millimeter Allen. To take the cover bolts off, it is gonna be a 14 millimeter. And they are on there. They're a little tight. Mm. Sorry if I'm moving y'all around. Also, there is a bolt on top that holds the e brake. I don't know if that's a 14. Let's check and see. Uh, I do believe that may be a 10 or a 12. Let's try a 10 first. That yeah, should be a 12. Yep, it is a 12. This last bolt on top, I'm not going to take it all the way out because I'm going to use it to hold the cover whenever I break it loose. And then I can just uh, thread it the rest of the way out with my hands. Now we're going to try to break the cover loose. 
fish. It actually is coming loose pretty easy. I'm going to put it in neutral. That way I can spin it around and try to see if there's any like wear on the teeth. I mean, the spider gears are really shiny, but... Spider gears are wore out. Right. This one over here, I mean, you can move it a lot. I'll move y'all over here in just a second and let you see this. These spider gear shouldn't have that much play. Yep, I think that's what it is. Spider gears are wore out in it. Yeah, I'll bring y'all over here in just a second. Hold on. See if I can get this bike to cooperate with me. Alright, that should be better. Let me move you over here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Right here. Try to get it where y'all can see. See that movement? There shouldn't be that much play in there. That's a lot of play. Even on this gear, I can lift it up. It's because it's not engaging all the way. <clears throat> but I'm still going to put it in neutral real quick. And we're going to spin it and see if we can see anything else that's bad with it. Because right now, it's just the spider gears that are rotating. Because it is an open diff. It's not a positive traction unit. One, the backlash don't seem bad in it. I mean, it might be a little tight, but yeah, I just feel like them spider gears are wearing out. But yeah, let me pop it in neutral real quick. All right, we got it in neutral now, so it should be able to turn the whole disc. Just looking for any obvious wear on the ring gear. Uh, it just looks like bad wear on the spider gears. I'm going to move this top one, see if we can get it to move too. Yeah, look at that. Let me spin it around some more. to this bottom gear <clears throat> look at that yeah that shouldn't move that much like that one even moves more than I like that one moves a lot though I'm 
Well, I think we found our problem. Now we need to see what the customer wants to do about it. Alright, well, I guess we found the problem. We'll see what the customer wants to do. Uh, we'll do a little bit more inspection on it. I may even pull this out. Don't know yet. Because I don't want to go any further than the customer wants us to. But, I mean, there's no play up and down in the housing itself or a carrier itself and then, and there's no side to side movement let me think Well, like I said, that's it for this video. It's just a little quick diag video. Well, I really won't say quick, but it's just a diag video to show what the inside of a differential looks like if anybody's never seen one and show what worn out spider gears are apparently. So let me get with the customer and we may be doing a how-to video on how to replace these or even rebuild the differential. We'll have to wait and see. But if y'all enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And until next time, y'all have a good one.